In this demonstration we're going to look at creating and managing mailbox databases. We need somewhere for the mail to be stored and that's really what this demo is about. So what I'm going to do here is I'm just going to actually come into my Exchange Admin Center, which I'm already in. So I've accessed it via my Client Access Server with the Exchange Control Panel extension on the end here. So what we need to do is we need to just come to our Servers tab. On our Servers tab, next thing we're going to do here is actually create our database. So in our Databases tab, and within our Databases tab, next thing to do is select New. That's what we'll do here. On our Databases tab, we'll just select New. It's going to bring us into a little wizard. So what we're going to do here is we're going to call it DB2. We're going to stick on LON-MBX1. We're going to stick uh, the database file path on our E drive, which is nice because you target. And the logs are going to go on F colon here, which is also a nice because you target. Uh, what we'll also do here as well is we will mount this database once it's created. So we'll save this off. This is now going to go away and create the database. Now we'll read this warning. It's just telling me I need to restart my Exchange Information Store. So we'll click OK at this point here. And now what we should have is we should now have DB2. So this is one way that we can manage our databases through the Exchange Control Panel or the Admin Center. The other way we can manage our databases is through the Exchange Management Shell. So we'll just swap the Exchange Management Shell here. And what we'll do here is we'll just set up some quotas on uh, our database. So what we're going to do here is we're going to set the mailbox database identity DB2. We're going to specify the deleted item retention to be 20 days. So that'll give users 20 days to get their email back if they accidentally empty their deleted items. Circular logging enabled true. Now we wouldn't do this in the real world. We'd leave that as a disabled for the circular logging because this will just reutilize log files. And then we're going to specify the prohibit send quota for all users to be 2.2 gigabyte. So what we'll do at this point here is just hit the enter key. Just telling me here that circular logging parameter will only be applied on this database before it's remounted. So we need to dismount and remount the database DB2 in order to apply this parameter change. So what we'll do is we will dismount the database. So we'll just clear the screen. So what we'll do here is we'll dismount hyphen database hyphen identity DB2 and just hit the enter key. We'll answer yes and hit the enter key. We're now dismounted, so the next thing to do is remount the database. And just hit the enter key again. And this is now going away and remount the database. And that's a very quick demonstration of managing, creating, and setting quotas and item retention times on our Exchange Mailbox databases. Thanks very much.